most of the things that hold us back from the things that we want to do is, is actually just fear. And it's fear after fear after fear. In 1991, uh, so I must have been in secondary one or two, I think, uh, there was a movie which came out called Defending Your Life. And not many people have seen it, it's quite obscure. Uh, but it was Albert Brooks and Meryl Streep. And um, one of the big running themes throughout the whole movie was that most people on earth live their life with uh, trying to overcome their fear. And one of the most pivotal scenes in the movie was when he was made to watch this clip of like 500 over instances when he just didn't do something because he was scared from very small things to very big things. When you think about it, our, our own lives are essentially but one movie, right? And but one narrative. And by watching more movies, more films, we expose ourselves to, a, to all sorts of different narratives. And, and you can choose which narratives you kind of want to gel with and all. Uh, but if you, if you never expose yourself to different narratives, um, whether it's true, books or films and all that, you, you, you may misunderstand that there's only one way to live. When I was, when I was 25, I, I and my friends started School of Thought and uh, there, there, there were things to be scared about. Like, of course, your first point of fear is what you tell your parents, right? Um, that you're going to pick something that uh, you have no clue. Uh, about where, where it's going to lead to. Um, but making that small choice, I guess that first step, uh, it built up the muscle and maybe the appetite for making choices despite fear because there was something greater than, than, than the fear. Um, there was a bigger picture to, to believe in. And I believe if we learn to confront the, why we're so scared and to do it despite of it. Um, I've seen in my life that you, you will always be changed when, when you make a decision despite fear. Films reframe my life. What's your story?